Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with the center B fully inscribed uh, in a square A, B, G, H, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, green shaded region, as you can see over here. And furthermore, the dimension of this uh, square is uh, 2 across uh, the board, as you can see. And the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is uh, 2 units uh, as uh, well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, big square A, B, G, H uh, is uh, subdivided into four uh, congruent uh, squares, as you can see, with the dimension uh, one uh, unit. And now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. And here I have connected uh, this uh, point uh, B with the C. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, diagonal uh, BC for this uh, square. And now let's recall uh, a square whose uh, side lengths are uh, A across uh, the board. Then uh, its uh, diagonal is going to be A times uh, square root of 2. And if the dimension is uh, just 1, then its uh, diameter is going to be 1 times square root of 2, which is same as uh, square root of 2. So therefore, uh, this diagonal uh, BC is going to be square root of uh, 2 units. Here's our next step. I have connected uh, this point P with this uh, B. And we have dropped a perpendicular uh, PE as well. And as a result, we get this uh, right uh, triangle uh, PEB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, PB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. And we know the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is uh, 2. So therefore, uh, this uh, radius uh, is going to be 2 units. And we know that this uh, side length uh, PE is going to be 1 unit. So therefore, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PEB. And here I have copied down this uh, right triangle uh, PEB over here. And here we can see this our longest leg is uh, 2 units and our smallest leg is uh, 1. And in uh, such kind of right triangle, uh, this angle uh, PB E is going to be 30 degrees. So therefore, uh, our angle uh, PBE turns out to be 30 degrees. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this point uh, Q with this uh, point B. And we have dropped uh, this perpendicular QF uh, as well. And we can uh, see that uh, this uh, QB is our radius uh, as well. So this radius is going to be 2 units. And moreover, uh, this uh, side length uh, QF uh, is going to be 1 unit. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, QFB. And we can see that this is our uh, smallest leg uh, and this is our uh, largest uh, leg in this uh, right triangle. Then our this uh, angle uh, QBF uh, is going to be 30 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. And we can see that this individual angle is 30 degrees and this angle uh, is uh, 30 degrees as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle uh, PBQ is going to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. Uh, we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. And we can see that this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region area is going to be equal to the sector uh, PBQ, this whole uh, area of the sector, minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, PBC, and minus uh, the area of this uh, another triangle uh, QBC. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, sector uh, PBQ. 
the area of this triangle uh, P B C and the area of this uh, another triangle uh, Q B C as well in order to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, P D B whose uh, this uh, side length uh, B D is 1 and this uh, side length uh, P B is uh, two units and now let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, unknown side length uh, P D we are going to calculate uh, this side length by using the Pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our Pythagorean uh, theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and here this uh, 2 is our uh, longest uh, leg and our this side is uh, 1 and we are going to calculate uh, this side length so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula our uh, a square and b in our case is 1 uh, whole square and uh, c is uh, 2 whole uh, square let's simplify let's subtract uh, 1 from both sides this is gone a square turns out to be 3 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root on both sides so therefore uh, a value turns out to be square root of uh, 3 so therefore our this uh, length uh, PD turns out to be square root of 3 and now we know that uh, this uh, length uh, CD is uh, 1 uh, unit so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, PC is going to be square root of 3 minus uh, 1 so this uh, length turns out to be square root of 3 minus 1 units so therefore our this uh, side length uh, PC turns out to be square root of 3 minus 1 and now that uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, congruent by the definition of uh, symmetry so therefore uh, this uh, side length is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, P B C and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, P B C and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times uh, height in our case for this uh, triangle uh, P B C our uh, base uh, is uh, square root of 3 minus 1 and our height uh, is uh, one uh, unit so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this triangle uh, pbc is going to be a half uh, times uh, our base is uh, square root of three minus uh, one uh, times our height is uh, one let's go ahead and simplify so the area of this uh, triangle is going to be square root of three minus one divided by two and now let's focus uh, on this uh, other triangle uh, QBC and we can see that both of these uh, triangles uh, PBC and uh, QBC are uh, congruent so therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, QBC is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 uh, divided by 2 same as uh, this uh, triangle uh, PBC area and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, whole uh, sector uh, PBQ and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, sector uh, PBQ and now let's recall the sector area formula area equal to theta divided by 360 degrees uh, times uh, pi r square and in our case our angle uh, theta is uh, 30 degrees and our uh, radius uh, is uh, 2 so therefore the sector area is going to be in our case theta is 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times r in our case is 2 whole square and here we can see 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to give us 1 divided by 12 and here 2 square is going to be Four, as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify the right hand side uh, this turns out to be pi divided by 3 
So thus the sector area P, B, Q turns out to be pi divided by 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region by just uh, plugging in uh, these uh, values that we already figured out uh, in our previous step. So therefore a green shaded area is going to be simply pi divided by 3 is the area of this uh, sector PBQ minus uh, the area of this triangle PBC is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2 and then minus uh, the area of this uh, other triangle uh, QBC is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. And now let's recall uh, this uh, basic uh, concept. Uh, if we have uh, minus a divided by 2 and then minus uh, a divided by 2, then uh, this is going to be equal to negative uh, a. So therefore, in our case, this whole uh, thing is going to be equal to minus uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 1. So therefore, this could be written as uh, pi divided by 3 then minus uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 1. Let's go ahead and distribute this uh, negative sign. So we are going to get uh, pi divided by 3 minus uh, square root of 3 and then uh, plus uh, 1. So therefore uh, this uh, green shaded area turns out to be pi divided by 3 minus uh, square root of 3 plus 1. And here is our final answer. And this is approximately equal to 0.32 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.